Okay. Hello, dear friends. Let's do some relaxation with mathematics. And this one is about uh, making a graph of uh, trigonometry. Uh, so, the first, let's do some basic. Y equal sine x, and then we do the transformation or translation of, uh, of the basic graph. I have a habit, or I do not have a habit, but I, I feel that it is important that I build up a habit. So this habit is, I will start my graph here, and here is the original point, origin, yes, and this means 1 pi. And every one block is half a pi. So later on, if you do some big change with, uh, with different uh, uh, period, with different frequency, you can compare with, with this original standard uh, graph. So this is 2 pi, this is negative pi, and here is 1 on the bottom, here is negative 1, so 1, uh, one 2, 2 block is 1 pi, and 1, 2, 2 blocks is 1 in the distance, so sine pi. I will do the origin, and we know that when it is uh, <clears throat> uh, 90 degree, which is 2 and half pi, it goes to the maximum, and when it is uh, two third pi goes to the bottom, it goes through several lines, several points. So I first put this point as a guidance because I'm not so good at drawing it, otherwise I will lose myself. So this is a sine equal to um, y equal sine x. Okay, the teacher give me a new problem. That is y equal negative sine x. What do we do with it? So whenever there is an x value, the y value, whenever there is an x value, the y value is negative. Whenever the positive x value become negative y value, and the negative y value become positive x value, which is reflecting to the x ex exit. So what do we do? So this is the original. I will make this original use red color. This is the most standard original form. And if I do y equal negative sine x, it will be this one. Okay. So now if you if you like you can draw in another another uh, another graph paper here y two uh, the pi two pi negative one positive one zero so it goes this way right okay so this is y equal negative sign okay now the teacher give me another question that is y equal two x oh two two sine x so what does it mean first we start with our original form i always make sure this is zero this is pi this is two pi and here is one here is negative 1, and the original form should be, or the 
the standard form should be like this and if y equal to sine x so it means the <clears throat> the frequency did not change but the jumping and uh, the, 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 the height of jumping and the height of falling down is, is two times of the original. So you put the new one here, the, 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 the real solution you will, you will get will be two, and here will be negative two. The frequency did not change, the period did not change, so this red line will be y equal 2 times sine x. So the same thing if y equals 3, 4, you just make it. If this is uh, bigger than 1, if it is a positive number bigger than one, you just go up, down, even with more, um, what is the English word? So, uh, 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 stretched even more, okay? So, now let's try another one. This one, the teacher gave me a function y equal one third of a sine x. Start with the original the original this is pi, this is two pi and zero one negative one. So first the standard form, I will write it down. This is y equal sine x, right? Let me move a little bit of this. And now the coefficient. Coefficient is one third. It's not one, it's only one third. So you divide this one into three parts and take only one part. So the height is up to this stage, and the height going down is up to this stage. So it's it's a, a much less um, turbulent. Let's put it this way. The modulation is much smaller, right? Modulation is much smaller. This one has a has a much bigger uh, uh, modulation going up and down. So this, the red one is y, this red one is y equal one third of sine x, right? Okay, now, um, now we do a cosine, so I can change some of these numbers. This one, the teacher asked me to do, we will start to write down y equal cosine x. So we do the standard form, the most original form. Still, we put, I like to put everything always in the same rule. There are different ways you can change this number, but how about we just get a very visual interpretation of this problem by set our frame always in the same standard. So y equal cosine x. When x goes to zero, the y value come to the, 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 the most extremity, right? And when it is, um, when x is a half pi, this is pi, this is half pi, uh, y is zero. And when y when x is pi y goes to the negative uh, bottom here here so we write down some of these um, these important points we can do 
and after two pi, it repeats. It repeats like this. Repeats, continue to repeat. We will not do too much. Maybe later time we will do a little bit more. So this is the graph of y equal cosine x. How about the teacher give me y equal negative cosine x? So we start by drawing the standard form 1, negative 1, pi, 2 pi. And uh, the original form is going this point, this point, this point, this point, this point, so that we can connect. And this is the original form. What we are drawing is the original form. And what we are drawing now, here, now, we want to draw what the teacher asks us to draw. That is negative cosine x, which means reflecting over x exit. So it's just every point here, you get to the point reflecting over this x exit. Mm -hmm. And like this. This will be the graph is for y equal negative cosine x. Now we still use the same formula y equal negative one fourth of cosine x. Okay, so start with drawing the standard form. 1, negative 1. It takes time, but uh, eventually it uh, will help you big time. Okay, so we know this is the point. It's going to go through. And if it is negative, we flip it over, right? And if it is one fourth, then we shrink it. Instead of one, it's one fourth of this distance. So it's here, here. So you shrink it. Still, it goes through this point, and here, the maximum here, here, this point, here. So we use pencil to draw it. This is what we are going to get. So this is y equal negative one-fourth of cosine x. Okay. Now we do a long and this is a chubby one. Now we draw a long and a slender one. Oh, oh, we, we didn't flip it over. Oh, oh, that is wrong. That is wrong, 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 wrong. That is y equal, not negative. This is positive. This is positive. Now we move on. It's good. Sometimes we make mistakes so that we can, we can see where the mistake is because uh, things happen. So this is positive, positive. Now we will draw the negative. The original form, the standard form is negative 1 pi, 2 pi, not in a rush. We always make mistakes. We all make mistakes. It's nothing to be afraid to make mistakes. We are just a human, right? We are just a human. We make mistakes. Now, what I want to do is y equal negative 1 fourth over cosine x. So first you flip it. It should be something like this. The graph is something like this. This is the original standard form, standard form, and this will be 
like this this is just a reflecting but you need to do one fourth of it so it's one fourth of it one fourth so instead of here you do here this one still goes through here here here, still goes through here and here. So the real answer is this uh, is this purple one. It does not differentiate so much in color. So I will do in green color. So this is the the chubby. This is a chubby. Um, y equal one force negative one force of cosine x is that a wonderful brilliant mistake because sometimes makes mistake make us understand the the problem even better now we do a chubby one okay the chubby one we will do is where is my pen y equal negative uh, four cosine x to start with we do the original form one negative one i always use the same frame same proportion so that uh, so it goes here 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 use pencil to draw it first so this is uh, the original form, what we are drawing here is y equal uh, cosine x. This is the original form. This is number fourth or fifth time I draw it. If you still do not remember it, you are absolutely disappointing me. Okay, so here we will draw another... This might be instead of one, one, two, three, four. Oh gosh, it's already here for a new page. I still use the same pi, two pi, and uh, <clears throat> Take a look. This is the original form, right? We use pencil to draw the original form. This is a one, negative one. So it's starting here, 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 here. And now we want to make it slender and uh, the, the coefficient is four no matter positive or negative. And this negative four means it starts from the bottom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, negative four. So it starts from the bottom. The first point is here. The second point is here. The third point on the pi is here. The the C we draw it okay now this is what we are getting here now So this is y equal negative 4 times cosine x. So you can see very visually that uh, when the coefficient, the coefficient, if it is negative, you flip it going down. And if the coefficient is bigger than 1, it means it stretch very slender, very skinny. And if the coefficient coefficient is a smaller than one, where is this one? It's a smaller than one, it means it's very chubby. 